Hey guys, so um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the jellyfish container. Um, I'm sure you've seen it on Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, it's been blowing up all on social media. Um, it's really, really simple to do, to be honest, um, and you get great results in the end. So I'm going to be using this container that's hanging right here. Um, just to show you, it's like a kind of a cone shape. So I'm in my garage right now, um, and I figured the best way to plant some type of cone shape container would be to just hang it. So normally there's a ladder that's hanging from these two hooks over here. So I'm just gonna hang it and plant it for now. That'll make it easiest. You don't have to use a cone shape. You can use any type of container you want as long as it's hanging. So there's kind of two main points when you're making a jellyfish container. One, you need it to be hanging so that way you can get that like style, like it's kind of like floating in the air. And the other thing is this particular plant that you want to be using. So I'll talk about that more in a little bit. I just wanted to show you one more thing with this hanging container. So I got this at my local garden center, and um, about this container, it's, um, I don't even know exactly what type of material this is, but um, the inside is actually pre-lined with plastic. So most of them, um, if it's not like a plastic container itself, then either, um, you would want to or it would come lined with plastic or you could use like a cocoa fiber if you want to go some other route um, but this i just had to poke some holes in it it just said to do that on when i bought this container but i just wanted to put that out there in case anybody else is using a container like this um, the other thing i said the other most important thing about this type of jellyfish container is this plant so it goes by a couple different names um, this tag says Silver Falls, I know other people call them uh, Dichondra Falls, other things like that, but it's a nice little like green silvery leaf. Um, they're very small leaves and you can see that they start to grow like a vine. So these are what's going to create like the, the like falling or um, you know the trailing effect um, that you would see kind of like you know how you would see like in a jellyfish. Um, but this is what's going to hang over the side and do really well. So these um, are like the, the most important plant that you need. And then whatever you want to plant on the top is actually kind of up to you. So that's what's really cool about these containers. You can kind of have your own customization. Um, so this hanger is going to be going, and I will show it at the end of the video. It's going to be hanging in a, um, it's going to get a decent amount of sun in the morning, but it's going to get some afternoon shade because it's on the corner of our house, but it's on the corner of the north side of our house. So um, it is in a shadier location. Now I will say with these Silver Falls, they want to get more sun, so the more sun the better. So these may not grow as long as they could possibly grow in one season, um, but they're still definitely going to have that effect even being in a park sun situation. But because of that, I decided to also plant them with these, which are a double impatient. So um, impatients like to do better in the uh, shade, unless you get sun impatients, which are a different variety. Those are a newer variety. But anyways, these like to do well in the shade. And these are really cool because they give you, uh, it's like, almost looks like a rose from these impatients. And also, so this type, this tag says, Musica Bicolor Dark Red. They're from a, oops, I almost dropped the tag. Uh, they're from a brand called Jolly Farmer. Uh, these are really cool because they have like a pink, red, white kind of color to them. So you can see they're kind of like striped, they're kind of mixed throughout. So it gives some more um, like excitement, I guess, to the plant. And they look really, really cool. So these are going to do better in the shade. So I'm going to um, plant them like on the top. It's going to be the impatience. Uh, that will kind of create like the body of the jellyfish. And then I'll have the silver falls, which is going to trail down. Um, I'm going to speed it up from here, just plant everything. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is for soil, just use really any type of potting mix. Really anything's going to work um, as long as it is a potting mix, not like a garden soil, raised bed mix, nothing like that. You just want to use regular potting mix. Um, and then the other thing you can do is if you're going to be planting something that's going to flower, because um, you can do other things besides impatience. You can do like super tunias or super bells. Um, really anything you want. Uh, I'm trying to think about this stuff, but yeah, really anything you want. You could do um, lantana. There's lots of different options that you could go. Um, I'm just going to be doing the impatience today. But if you have something that are going to be heavy feeders, that are going to flower all season long, then something else that you might want to use would be some sort of um, fertilizer. You could do a slow release or something I'm going to be using for these impatience is, this is by miracle Grow. It's a bloom booster. Um, and so you, it's just a water-soluble fertilizer that you're going to feed your plants once a week. So I'm going to go ahead and plant this, and then I'm going to show you where I'm going to hang it. I have 
everything plants it up and I will also add that I added four of these double impatience um, because I know that impatience in particular don't tend to get super big throughout the season um, versus if you were to do like a super junior or something like that then they would grow and spill over and all that kind of stuff but because these aren't going to get too too much bigger than they already are i wanted it to start off looking full from the gate um one more thing i do want to say is with the silver falls um it is a good idea to just kind of try to like get them to trail as much as you can from the beginning just to help them get going you can see that there's you know a couple strands here there's another one back over here but yeah just try to just try to bring them out as much as possible and that'll help them get started I also will add that this container is pretty heavy. Um, I didn't mention this before, but make sure whatever potting soil that you use, you do pre-moisten. Um, so that way you don't have to worry about everything getting misplaced and, and all that kind of stuff and moving around once you do water it the first time. So it definitely helps to just wet that soil before you put it in there. And then once you first water it, everything can settle in, but the water, or the soil will be able to absorb the water a lot better. Um, so just make sure whatever hook that you end up putting it on that it can support a decent amount of weight um, because when you do water them, they will get pretty heavy. And as these plants grow, they'll obviously add some weight as well. All right, so now that this container is in place, you can see where it's gonna be hanging from. The only thing that I will add about this is you can see that the silver falls, you know, it's definitely still there. It's gonna grow quite a bit this year. I'm not really worried about that. However, I only planted four plants of the silver falls, one, two, three, and then a fourth one in the back. Um, but I would definitely say the more that you can plant, the better. There was only four of those actually left at the garden center that I was shopping at. Um, so definitely try to get your hands on them and just try to do as many as you possibly can. So for this size container that I did, I would say maybe five or six is probably a good amount. Um, you don't really need too many more than that, but if you can kind of make a ring of them around the whole perimeter of the pot, that's probably the best way to go. So you can get that effect um, as good as you can and also as fast as you can. It's gonna take a little bit of time for that to grow and fill in, but definitely by the end of the summer, it'll look great. Now I will be making update videos on this container throughout the summer. I'll probably do one maybe halfway throughout the summer and then also another one at the end of the summer. I also am going to add that it is June 13th today when I'm putting this together. I'm a little late with this, but I still wanted to get it in the, in the pot and just try it out for this year. Um, so I'm definitely going to end up doing it again next year. It'll probably be even bigger. Um, but definitely, you know, subscribe or, you know, stay tuned um, if you want to see how this is going to progress throughout the summer. Um, but it's definitely, it's going to be great. Um, if you have any questions or comments on this container that you'd like me to answer for you, feel free to put them in the comment section down below, and I'll definitely try to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, but besides that, if you guys could give this a like, that'd be really great, um, so that we more people could see this, and hopefully everybody will be doing these jellyfish containers, because they look awesome. Um, but besides that, I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.